how do I look? I can't really wear a real hat because it messes up my hair. So this is the next best thing. But now that I've done this with the hat, I'm not really sure how to get rid of it. So, um, I don't know if I may be with the hat the whole time. I doubt it. I'm going to try to figure it out because it is kind of annoying. Hello, Kathy. How are you? Good to see you. Okay, this is a super cute look for me, I think, but I am going to have to try to get rid of it. So, hello, Mary Ellen. Thank you for joining me. Linda, hi. Hello, everyone. This is my Christmas attire, I guess. It's not real, but I do have a little Grinch pin that I made a few years ago for uh, one of my kids when it was um, Grinch Day at school, so... I have some Christmas, sort of have some Christmas stuff on, right? Okay, um, I'm gonna try to get rid of this Santa hat. No, that's not it. Um, oh gosh, how do you get rid of this? Does anyone know how to get rid of it? Is it that? Yes, ah, okay, there we go. We're good, I think. Well, let's hope so anyway. Okay, so how is everyone? I hope everyone's having a lovely week. I am having a pretty good week. Um, how do you get rid of that now? Gosh, I tell ya. Sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, there's like a few days till, till Christmas. Did you guys know that? Freak me out. I think I talked about this last week. We still have had zero snow. And so it is very hard to be in the Christmas spirit in Wyoming um, when there's no snow. I'm sure for a lot of you on the West Coast and in very nice warm areas, Florida, you're probably used to that. And you're like, what's the big deal if there's no snow? Well, because in Wyoming, everything's dead right now. So it's all brown and it just looks kind of the kind of yucky. And so when, when it snows, then it covers up all the brown and then it looks really pretty and it makes you feel like it's Christmas. So we've had no snow and everything's brown and I think we're going to have a brown Christmas. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. It'll still be Christmas and that'll be great. So I do have my mom and my brother coming to visit us. A lot of you know that I've had a lot of um, struggles with my mother over the past six months or so, maybe even longer than that. Um, but my brother is up in Billings right now. He flew in. He's going to be picking her up with all of her goods and he's going to be bringing her down here on Saturday so that we can spend the holidays with them. So we're very excited about that. Um, his wife uh, does come with him sometimes, but this time she cannot because she's taking care of her own mom who is ailing and aging and all that stuff too. So um, shout out to her for missing us on Christmas. We will miss her. Hello, Lisa and... You've had snow twice. I know, Linda. Isn't this crazy? What the heck? Why is there no snow? I mean, I think there's been some snow where there isn't normally snow. So I don't know. This is crazy, but I'm not liking it. So anyway, that's that. There's nothing we can do about it. It'll snow or it won't, and that's the end of that. So, um, But I thank you guys all for joining me tonight. I know this is uh, probably one of those crazy things where you're like, oh, I've got Christmas stuff to do, but I really want to watch Barb. So thanks. I appreciate that. Okay, so... A little uh, housekeeping from last week. I do have my winner for the uh, ordering thing. I offered a half a package of the Regals Designer pa Series paper. And this goes to Pam, and I'm going to butcher this. Schwarzinski is what I'm going to say. And I don't know if that's true or if it's not true. I'm hoping it's right, Pam. If it's not, I'm so sorry. Anyways, this will be going out to Pam. I do have her address, obviously. She ordered from me, so um, I have that. But the thing I was giving away were the projects that I uh, made last week. And so uh, we have the couple of cards that I made with the Serene Garden Bundle. And as you guys know, I do have an online class for this bundle. Um, these two cards are not in the class. There are nine cards in the class. Um, they all have a video and written instructions. The class is only 20 bucks, um, so it's a really good deal. And then we also had this cute little... Um, candy treat that we made. So here's a little kit also. And so the winner of that stuff for sharing the video was Lori Watson. So thank you so much, Lori. I will need Lori to message me. You can either message me here on Facebook or send me an email. Um, I guess messaging me on Facebook is better because I don't really want to say what my email is because you know, you never know who's watching. It's a public forum. And anyway, 
So Lori Watson, please message me on Facebook with your address and I will get those uh, treats out to you. So, um, again, uh, my ordering special for December. If you order $40 or more, you get free glimmer dots as well as a PDF file full of uh, projects using the Graceful Glass uh, suite of products. So that's really good. Hello, Susan. Hello, Brenda. How are you guys? Um, next week, or actually next week, I won't be live because next week is Christmas. My mom and my brother are still going to be here. My kids are out of school. Um, so I won't be live next week, um, but it will be the following week after New Year's. So that'll be what the 3rd of January. I think that's what that is. So the 3rd of January, I'll be live again. Same time, same place. And then this is the stamp set that I will be giving away. It's called Peaceful Reflection. So for all of you that order from me between now and my next Facebook Live, I will put you in a drawing for this stamp set. So all you have to do is go to my uh, shoppingwithbarb.com website, place an order, any size, use my host code, which will be on the screen here in just a minute when we flip it. And I'll put you in the drawing for the Peaceful Reflection stamp set. Okay. Speaking of ordering, we Stampin' Up! updated the clearance rack this week. Hello, Sue. How are you? And Trudy, hello. How are you? Um, they updated the clearance rack, and one of the things that they put on the clearance rack were the Stitched Seasons Framelits dies. Now, for those of you that might not remember, this was a bundle of products that you could purchase in August. It was a uh, die set and a stamp set, and the dies are so flippin' cool. They are stitched. So here's like a die cut of it, and you can see it's got the stitching around there, but they also nest together these uh three dies here and then of course the big one which I have on the other side of my card but as they get stitched so they get the stitching on both sides so this little piece here has stitching on the inside and the outside so these are on sale for 40% off they were $33 they are now $19.80 so they are a tremendous deal here's the rest of the images that come in this set so there was, there was only one image in the that had a coordinating stamp so you wouldn't even need this you know, you could have all these amazing stitched dies to do whatever you want with without any stamps. And so, um, yeah, really cool and a great deal. Like I said, at $20, Merry Christmas to you guys, seriously. So you can go to my store and order those at shoppingwithbarb.com and that will, uh, that will help me out. And I would appreciate it very much if you would do that. Okay. I have some notes up here because I can never remember what to do. I did the winners. I talked about the year, la, 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 la. Well, I guess I actually am done talking. Oh, you know what I did want to do? I wanted to show you guys a few things that I did get. I have gotten a few Christmas cards from some of my friends and customers. And so I just wanted to show them to you because they're super pretty. So here's one that I got from Helen. So thank you very much, Helen. This uses a paper that actually sold out earlier this year. So you can't buy it anymore along with these really cool elements. But I just love this card and the embossing here in copper. I thought was super pretty. This is from one of my team members. This is from Kay. So thank you so much, Kay. And she did the amazing work of putting our uh, shimmery. I was just working with it today and I was in shimmer or no embossing paste. Yeah. Shimmer embossing paste on this card. And of course it's backwards because this is in selfie mode, but she added it to the tree and then she added it to the background to like mimic a nice, really snowy scene. So thank you so much, Kay, for that gorgeous card. This is from one of my dear friends, Jackie, who um, I have been friends with for many, many years, and we uh, used to stamp together when I lived in Billings, and this is from her. It uses the farmhouse Christmas bundle, so thank you so much, Jackie. That's super cute. This one is from my other, another one of my customers, Donna, and look at this. This is an older stamp set. It's a poinsettia stamp set, and you're probably wondering, how did Donna do that really cool look? Well, let me just tell you. Brusho is what she used. So she used watercolor paper embossed it with the white embossing powder first, the image, and then she sprinkled on the brush o and spritzed it to create that really super gorgeous poinsettia. So yay, Donna, thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. This is from another one of my customers and sometimes she's on here. This is from Teresa. So thank you so much, Teresa. Teresa always sends me Starbucks cards and, um, after I picked up my son from school today, we went and had a blended chai frappuccino. Well, we didn't, I did. So thank you, Teresa, for that. I appreciate that very much. This is also an older stamp set, but it is super cute, and I just love it. So thank you so much. 
This is from another one of my, another, another Donna. I have like six customers named Donna. So here's another one. And Donna used that really cool eclipse technique with the alphabet framelits. And so she stamped her poinsettia image in there first. And then she colored it in really beautifully with our Stampin' Blends markers. And then she cut out the word Noel. And then she ran it through with the uh, Softly Falling folder. So super gorgeous card. And then here is another one from another one of my team members. This is from Denise out on the East Coast. So thank you so much, Denise. I love how she used that uh, laser cut paper behind her poinsettia image there. Super, super pretty. So thank you so much, Denise. I appreciate that very much. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was a gift from actually Kathy, who's watching us today. This is a little gift box that Kathy gave me at On Stage, and I just think it is so cute. And it had some treats in it, of course, because we were starving to death at On Stage. We needed snacks. And so this used the snowflakes that were on special last month. The snowflakes dies, super cute. And the swirls and curls folder, how she added um, panels to all the sides. Oh, I'm not even showing you. Isn't that gorgeous? So, and then it's just a cute little box and it had some treats. So thank you so much, Kathy. I really appreciate that. Okay, so we're done with that and we're done with all this. Let me move this stuff out of the way and then I'm gonna flip the camera and we will start talking about my product shares that I have for you guys, if you're interested. Okay, I do wanna give a shout out to my Grinch pin because you might not have been able to see it super well when I was sitting down because I I don't think it was in the frame, but here is my Grinch pin. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And like I said, I made this when my daughter was probably a seventh grader. She's a senior this year. So it just sits up on my wall and every year I kind of put it on and wear it. And it was just a bunch of our punches. And then this was, um, I can't remember if this was a die or a punch, but it's super cute. And I get a lot of compliments on it every time I wear it. So I just think it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to, oops, sorry about that. Put that away. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about product shares, you guys. So the Occasions catalog is coming out. You probably all know that. If you guys are my customers and you've ordered from me in the last six months, you will be getting one of these beautiful catalogs in the mail very soon, along with your celebration brochure, okay? So I can't show you the inside of the catalogs yet, but I can show you products that are in there. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I have a ribbon share. I have an embellishment share. And then I have a paper share. Or you can just get everything in the I want it all share, which is probably the best deal because then you get a little freebie too. So we'll start out. We've got six different uh, patterns of the, what is this called? Happiness something or other paper. I can't remember all the names just yet. This next set of papers is the Needlepoint Nook paper set. All right. And then we're into the All My Love, I think is what that's called. Six pieces of that. Okay. And then the oh, Happiness Blooms, maybe? Super, super cute. Uh, fun, bright spring patterns. I'm in love with every one of these. And then we have this gorgeous uh, floral romance type stuff. And two of the sheets in here are vellum sheets. And so they're kind of see-through, which is really cool. Here's the other one. So you get the vellum sheets in there as well. And then we get into that man paper. Oops, and I got extra pieces in here. Then we have the, uh, I think it's called, uh, I don't know, it's from the suite called the Geared Up Garage. And so it's all these kind of manly papers, which is super awesome. So you get some of those. And then uh, I think this is going to be the most popular item in the catalog. And I'm horror, I'm hoping that it doesn't go on back order because I think it might. Because look at these, these gingham patterns. Are these not the cutest things? This just screams Easter to me for some reason. So anyway, that's the paper. Here are all the ribbons that you get. Notice this one here. Look at that. It's double-sided. Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green. Yeah, loving that. We have some jute here, Whisper White. Uh, what is this stuff called? Flax, sorry, flax ribbon. Then we have the two-tone variegated ribbon. And then we have the Calypso Coral, super, super shiny. This is, for the, this is from the man set, the striped metallic. 
And then this is a duo set, the All My Love, which has the lovely lipstick and then this really thin flirty flamingo. So I have the ribbon share also, and then I have the embellishment, embellishments, I can't even speak. Look at all these fun embellishments that you get. You get the sampling of everything, well not the twine, sorry. Uh, sequins, and then these cute little things from the man set, the key and the wrench. You get some of those. And what's this last thing here? These teeny tiny little buttons, aren't they adorable? Yeah. So that's what you get. You can go to my blog, barbstamps.com, check it out. Um, I'm taking reservations right now and I will order everything on January 3rd when it's available for us to order and then I'll package it and ship it out ASAP to you. Okay, moving on to our first project. Oh, what do I want to do? I guess I'll do this one. So, this one is going to use one of our uh, stamp sets in the catalog called the Bouquet Blooms, along with, oh my, I don't have it over here. One second while I grab, the, well, I guess I don't need to. <clears throat> it's just some dies that will cut out uh, some of these images. So, like, we have a die that will cut out this, 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 these, and this whole thing here. So, I have some samples I can show you of, some card swaps that I've received. So here is one where it's using that really large uh, dotted kind of circle, which I think is super cool. This one, actually, the die set that goes with this creates like a pouch. Actually, I have it over here. So it's like a little note card that folds together. Like so, if I can get it to fold together like that. So the die cuts both ends of this um, piece. So this card here uses just the, oh, not this one, this one, oops, sorry, uses the, the um, leaf end. So that's pretty cool. Plus then the individual stamps and dies, which I thought was really cute. And here's one that's a gift card holder. So that's really cute. And I just love the color combination of this one. I think it's so cute. And then this one here uses some more of those fun uh, different colors and everything. So it's a super fun set. The dies are really cool. And so we are going to do this today. So like I said, we've got the stamp set out here. I'm going to get my supplies. What the heck did I do with all my papers? Yep. When you can't find your papers, you just make more papers. Ta-da! More papers. So this is a four and a half by, or four and a quarter, excuse me, by 11 inch piece of crumb cake cardstock. And I'm just going to fold it in half. And when you cut your paper the long way or the hot dog way, as I was told by some school teachers many years ago, um, the other way being the hamburger way, in case you were wondering, um, you're actually folding against the grain when you fold, when your cardstock is cut this way. So it doesn't want to fold as nice or as easily. So if you score it first, it will fold a lot better for you. And then you can just burnish that down. Okay. All right. So... We've got the large circle image here, and we're going to ink that up in some crumb cake ink. Let me get one of my pads out here, because this is a large stamp. It's photopolymer, so sometimes they are um, a little harder to get a good impression, so I always use my foam mat, and that way I get really good um, impressions with these. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this close to the bottom down here. Pressing that into place. Okay, like so. And then I want to punch out the center of that. And I'm going to use my three quarter inch circle punch. But sometimes it's hard to, because you can't see the edges. So in order to line it up perfectly, I like to do a little trick here where I take a little scrap piece of paper and I will adhere it to the center. So this way I can actually see what the center is. I can stick my little scrap on there and then I can just bring my punch in over the top of my scrap. Come on, eyes work for me right now. Um, over that little piece I just cut out. Oh, this is, there we go. Okay, and then I get that done right out of the middle. All right, so that's what we'll get rid of. We don't need this punch anymore. But we do need a 
circle of white, and I need a two and a quarter inch circle of white. Where are you? Two and a quarter inch. Here we go. So we've got a two and a quarter inch little circle of white. And now we're going to bring out some stamps. So I've got the super long image in the set here with the flowers and everything in the leaves. And really all I want is just this little uh, leafy floral piece here. I feel like my thing is it's glaring. There we go. Okay. And then I have a bunch of these little flower stamps. I have the thanks sentiment, the you're the best sentiment, and uh, this little doohickey here. Okay, so for the sentiment that's going to be poking through the hole there, I am going to use my soft suede, and I'm just gonna try to sort of center that near the top. So that one says thanks, and then this one says you're the best like that. Hello, Brina. Thank you so much for sharing. It's nice to see you. And then this little squiggly thing, I'm going to move that. This little squiggly guy, I'm going to do this in balmy blue. There we go. Okay, so that's what's going to poke through the um, circle in the front of the card. So I'm going to hide those right there. Hide them from myself so I don't screw it up. Okay. So then I need uh, cardstock scraps of Flirty Flamingo. Here's a Flirty Flamingo. And then I need some lovely lipstick. Yeah, I thought I had all my scraps already out here, you guys. So I apologize for the delay. And then I'm looking for some soft sea foam. So thankfully, all my uh, paper is right here next to where I am actually filming. So, okay, I don't need the soft suede and I don't need the crumb cake anymore. I do need the soft sea foam. So like I said, I only need this end where the leaf image is. So I'm just going to stamp that. So I'm just going to need the leaf image because the die cuts out the whole thing, but I'm just going to cut that off then. Okay. And then I've got the lovely lipstick here. Take a peek. What do I need? I've got this large flower here that I'm going to stamp in lovely lipstick on lovely lipstick. Okay. So let's see. After I use these, I should move them out of the way so that they're not, um, so I don't screw up and do it. Do something backwards or whatever. Okay. Next is Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to use these two little images here. And we've got one. And we've got two. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Dee. How are you? It's been a long time since I've seen you. I hope everything is good. I also need a scrap of balmy blue. I think this is big enough. All right. And then I've got the little rosy looking image here. Yep, that's big enough. Okay, so we've got that. And then the final image that we need, we need it on white. I seriously thought I had all of my stuff out, you guys. I apologize. And look what I have. I have a dove from last week's um, Facebook Live, and I'm going to use it as a scrap because I have a whole bunch of them. Okay, so now I would, if I was actually doing this, but I've already done it because, you know, the magic of TV or Facebook Live is really cool. So I have already die cut all these pieces. So here's my lovely lipstick flower. Here's my, oh, I should get this ugly paper out of here. Here's my blue rose, and I did add some rhinestones to the center of those guys. So there are my flirty flamingo flowers. Here are the little guys that I had on the dove. Ah, there's my little string. Here is my little piece off the end of that large image there. And then I have a little bow that I tied out of white baker's twine. And then I have some embellishments that we're going to use. So I've got my clear faceted gems. I've got one of those right here that's going to go on to this large flower here. Whoops. Get that. There we go. And then the rest of these little flowers have just our standard rhinestones. Okay, some, um, some of those little rhinestones in all five of those guys. And we've got that cut. All right. So now we can start our assembly. So I'm going to bring my card base back in, my hot dog cut, 
card base, right? And I'm just going to start adding these flowers just kind of around the card. Just, I don't know, maybe like that. These two together, this is definitely going to go underneath the flower like so. So what do you guys think of this? You think this is cute? I just think it's adorable. And I'm loving these colors big time. Ah, but I can't pick that up. Oh, I should use my take your pick tool. I think maybe like that is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to start out with some liquid glue. Oh, now I'll give you a little wasp update. Uh, those of you that may have been watching me over the past few weeks know that I've had a wasp problem in my basement. Ah, too much came out. Well, uh, I hadn't seen any for a couple of weeks. Last night I was down here, or a couple nights ago I was down here and my daughter came down and I happened to look up and I saw ugh, one of the nasties up on my light, but he was dang near dead, which of course made me super happy uh, because the only good wasp, as far as I'm concerned in your house, is a dead wasp. And so he was not moving very quickly. And so I don't know if he was a wasp that um, has been in here, you know, for a while, like the other ones before my exterminator covered up the hole, or if they're getting in again. So I'm going to wait and see, because if they are getting in again, more of them are going to show up because that's just how they are. They always gravitate towards my lights over here because I think they're warm or they maybe think it's a way out. Little do they know, it's just a way to their death. <laughs> and that makes me happy. So, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. So, he is very close to death, which, like I said, makes me super happy. And, um, yeah. So, I thought I was done with wasps. So, now I'm adding a mini dimensionals to the backs of these little tiny flowers. Just to pop them up just a little bit. So, yeah, I thought I was done. I wasn't. But now I'm hoping that I am. So, yeah, cross your fingers for me. And um, we'll hope that there are no more wasps coming into my house. Okay. So we're going to bring back our little sentiment piece here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just really close to the circle here. And then I am just going to come down over the top of this. Trying to center it as best I can like that. Okay. Oh gosh, that's so cute. And then I thought what I would do is add a panel to the inside. Where's my paper? I need to cut one. So this is going to be a five and a quarter by four inch piece of paper to go on the inside of the card. And I thought that I would bring in a sentiment from one of our new stamp sets. So this is a sneak peek. This is coming in the occasions catalog. It's called Incredible Like You. And I just really like the font of this, and this actually goes with a kit of cards. Let's see if I can find it here. That's not it. Here it is. Ah, oh my gosh, you guys are just gonna die when you see this. Look at this. This is our new project card kit that's coming out in the catalog also. And I haven't even opened it yet, but I saw it when we were right on stage. Oh my gosh, it's flipping amazing. This is what it makes. So it makes these cards. Oh, let's see how many do you get in here? trying to read here and I can't tell I think there's three or four of each I'm not sure but you also get a gift box or just even a box maybe not even a gift box a box to house them in I'm gonna make a mess oops there was a little bit of glitter on here so look at this cute little box that you get in this kit it's already got this fantastic printing on it all the cards and envelopes fit in there it has a snap closure Oh my gosh, so cute. And then here's all the pieces. There's glimmer paper in there. And so, of course, we're having a little shedding, which I am not a fan of, but it's okay. And then all those die cut pieces. Look at these fun colors of these card bases. Oh my gosh. So anyways, this stamp set was designed to go with this kit. So, oh, and then we get some grapefruit grove twine also. Okay, so I digress, sorry. So anyways, I wanted to use this So Glad We Are Friends um, image. So I have it here already ready to go. And I'm going to use my uh, foam mat again and I'm going to bring in my lovely lipstick ink. I said we were done stamping. I lied. We're not. 
Okay, so we're going to ink up the So Glad We Are Friends image. And we're going to try to get that in the center here. And I see I have ink on my finger, so that's going to have to get cleaned off. So I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Chamois here that looks completely filthy, but it's not. It's actually clean. I just cleaned it. It's just stained, so it's totally fine. It cleans your stamps. It cleans your blocks. It's amazing, and I love it. Okay, if you don't have a chamois, add that to your order with your host code and get put into the drawing for the free stamp set that I'm offering uh, for everyone that orders between now and two weeks from now when I go live again. And you know what I think I might do? Just because I have a stamp out and we're and we're just stamping here having a good time. I think I'm going to bring in that little loop-de-loo. Where did it go? Over here. That little uh, loop-de-loo. And I think I'm going to do that in the blue. The balmy blue. We'll just do this right underneath the word friends here. Oh, yay. That's cute. Okay. So I'm so excited. This stamp set is so cute. It just has so many fun little images. Um, and the die set, like I said, cuts all these things out. So, yay. All right, so now we're going to move this out of the way, and then we're going to add a bit of glue to the back of this. And then we will just add this to the center. There we go. And it's done! Isn't that fun? I kind of was getting tired of making Christmas stuff, so I kind of wanted to make something other than Christmas stuff. So, oh, you know what? I have this little bow, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to add it or not. So I'm going to take a poll. You guys let me know. I was thinking of putting it right there. So while I'm cleaning up this mess, vote bow or no bow um, in the comments. And uh, let me know what you think I should do. If I should put the bow on there or if I should not put the bow on there. And I'll clean this up and get the supplies for my next project ready uh, while you guys are voting. Clean off some stamps. Nope, Mary Ellen says. Anybody else have an opinion on the bow? Linda says no bow. All right. Two no's so far, guys. Got some glitter here I'm going to sprinkle off. Let's see, Lisa says no. Linda just says it's pretty. Thank you, Linda. So we've had three no's so far. So I'm thinking that we're going to say no, and we're going to take the bow off. We're going to put that up here, and we're just going to leave this as it is. Okay, perfect. No bow. Thanks, guys. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to show you is going to use a couple more sneak peek stamps. Although now I can't find the one that I need. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't this adorable? This is our one of our celebration sets. So starting January 3rd, when you place a $50 order in my store, you can choose this as one of your free items. You could purchase this set if you wanted to, to add to your order to get the free item. So anyways, we're going to use a little sentiment out of here and we're going to use one of these adorable little frogs. And we're going to make a notepad holder. Now I did these a long time ago and I use these junior legal pads you can get them, I think I got them at an office supply store here in town anyway. And I just took them into one of our printing places here and had them cut them in half so that they're just a little bit smaller. So now they measure, let's just see here, two and a half by mm, about eight. This is like seven and seven eighths. So I already put some designer series paper on there, which I'm going to show you where this comes from. This is our Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. It's like our Halloween paper, but one of the patterns is frogs. My gosh, isn't that so fun? So we have frog paper you can buy now, which is actually on sale for $8.25, reduced from $11. And then you can get your frog set in January, and you can make frog paper with frog stamps. So cute. So and then here's just some other Halloween cards that use some of the paper. Um, so you could get the paper now, then you'll have it ready for next year in Halloween and you can just use up the frogs, um, right now. Okay. There's a little, there's a little sales tip for you. Okay. So what we need here is 
that's a scrap we don't need that all right so i have a piece of granny apple green and this measures five and three quarters by eight and one quarter and we're going to score this i'm going to bring my trimmer in and we're going to score this with the short edge at the top we're going to score it at two and three quarters and then we're going to scoot it over to three and score it again because so we're going to kind of make a book to go over the pad okay so we will fold that get my folder here and then we will fold the other score line here and they also make these legal pads at least they did when i bought mine uh, they have them in different colors too like yellow pink and blue i think okay so there is our kind of book and then this piece here i just cut a scrap to uh, fit the top here this little i don't even know what you call that i know it's got a name but i can't think of what it is ah hello janet and hello shelly so then this measures uh two and a half and i think it's seven eighths i think i did it by seven eighths mm, nope six eighths three quarters and then i just added a little strip of black under that before i glued it on so and then it's just going to fit right in here and be super cute like i don't know a little grocery list or a little memo pad or i don't even know what you could do with it but i'm sure i'm actually making this for my sister-in-law that can't come here for christmas she doesn't do facebook so she's never going to see this before she actually gets it okay so oh let's have a little break and talk about frogs just because i have some cards here that i've made so here's one that i did how cute is that? And it has, look at that, foil sheets. Yep, that's another free item during celebration. Lovely lipstick and grapefruit uh, grove foil sheets. So there's not one card. This one, I am working on a video for this. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I know, right? It is me too. And then I've got this one here. It's kind of like 3D popped up. He's adorable. This one, look at those, I had some googly eyes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I thought that was adorable. Cute little dragonfly in there. And then I actually have a couple swap cards here from my downline Denise. She used the stamp set also, and she made these two cute cards. So already you guys have some great ideas for the So Happy For You stamp set. Okay, moving along. We have a two and a half inch circle cropped out of lemon lime twist. And then this is a two, which one is this one? It's two and a quarter. Yes, so this is two and a quarter, this is two and a half. And then I need a piece of whisper white that I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring on. Where is the scrap? Well, I'm just gonna have to cut myself a scrap out of, we'll just do it on this. Okay, so I'm gonna get my frog stand now. Here he is. He's so cute. He's just kind of sitting there. And we've got Memento because we're going to use some Stampin' Blends to color this. So we're just going to stamp him right there. I'm going to give him just a couple seconds to dry. So while he's drying, I'm just going to glue these two things together. And then we're going to add our other papers to the front. Okay. All right. So we said that this piece was five and three quarters by eight and a quarter, scored at two and three quarters and three. Then I have a layer of black that's five and a half by eight. And we'll just add this to the front here of the notepad. Okay. Like so. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Do you guys have everything done? My husband's been complaining because I've been stamping so much and I don't have um, enough treats made. So he's uh, lacking in the treat area, which I'm so sorry, husband. So then this piece here, or no, I said this measured five and a half. This is two and a half, two and a half by eight. Yeah, Gosh, good Lord, I'm losing my mind. And then this is two and a quarter by five and a half, this pattern paper here. Isn't that so funny? These frogs are so cute on the paper and on the stamps okay so we've got that on there this is going to go on like so so uh, where do i want it 
about like that, I think. Ah, Janet, you're so lucky. Janet's stamping is done, so she's been baking. All right, this is going to go in here. So we're just going to add a little bit of glue to this. And we're going to set that inside. Trying to make it even. Press that down. Okay, so now I just have to color in my little froggy, and then we're going to tie a bow with that. So I've got my dark and light granny apple green uh, Stampin' Blends, and then I have my lemon lime twist, because we don't have lemon lime twist in a um, Stampin' Blend, so I have to use it in a regular marker. So I'm just going to do his belly area here with the lemon lime twist. There we go. And then I'm going to color his body. Uh, we'll do his legs here in the dark. I had to put some reading glasses on so I could see. So, But even then I still can't see too great. So let's hope I don't screw this up and go outside the lines. Okay. And we'll just kind of go around like that. Maybe up top by his head. And then I'm going to bring my light marker in here and just kind of try to blend that line away a little bit. So do you guys have the Stampin' Blends? Are you enjoying them if you have them? I am really enjoying them. This would be a good candidate for some googly eyes. What do you guys think? Let's see. Hello, Lisa. See what I'm making. Merry Christmas. We're making some fun stuff. We're using uh, one of our upcoming celebration items and uh, some paper here from the Toil and Trouble set uh, that has the frogs on it. And actually, I think I'm going to color in these little spots with the lemon lime twist marker also. Okay, so now we're going to punch that out. Whoops, just about took my glasses off my head. I need a two-inch circle punch now, so that's going to be around here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. And we'll get him mm, about like that. Hello, Shannon. Remember, everyone, please share the video. Um, that gets you put in the drawing for the projects that I make. And I did mention that I'm giving this to my sister-in-law, but I'm going to make, I'll make another one. And then you, whoever wins will get the other one. So this one's for my sister-in-law, but I will get another one done here soon. Okay, so my friend's stamp is from the Well Said stamp set. And I have to tell you guys something. I actually won this at on stage. This is like a, how much is this? $30 stamp set, maybe, maybe a little more. Anyway, at on stage, they were randomly giving out these golden tickets. And so some of them were in the lunches. And then sometimes when you were, when they were out giving prizes out, you would, some, some people would get these. Well, I actually, I had won a stamp set. So I was kind of standing there with my stamp set, talking to my girlfriends and uh, one of the workers who was giving out, um, the prizes, he tried to hand me a stamp set. And I said, no, I already have one. He said, you want this one. And I said, no, I have one. So I didn't know what he was talking about. And he said, you want this one. And I was like, okay. So I traded him. It had the golden ticket in it. So he came and I don't know, it was just random. Obviously he found me and gave me this. And so then I went and chose this as my free item from my golden ticket. Isn't that cool? It's actually super shiny and everything. So I kept that because well, you know, you keep junk like that. Anyway, so this is one of the uh, words from that. It just says friend on it and there we have it and then I'm going to use some dimensionals where are they they're over here to pop this up on my little circle here okay so I don't think that's probably not in the frame sorry about that all right so we are going to add him to the front like that and then I have some granny apple green uh what are they what's the actual real word Granny Apple Green Textured Weave Ribbon. And I'm just going to tie a knot here uh, with this. Okay. Get some scissors here and we'll snip the... Oops, that was crappy. We're going to snip this off. That's better. Shelly, you're so funny. 
Shelly was at on stage with me and she just said she kept some confetti pieces from the last. Oh, you know, look what I did. I didn't take the dimensional tops off. And so, <laughs> so my frog didn't stay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hopefully this isn't the start of how my evening's going to be because I have a lot of work to do. I have some baking to do. I got a whiny husband looking for some treats. So I'm going to have to get done with this and whip up something for dinner. Not really sure what that's going to be. But hopefully it's something good. Okay, so now I have that, and I'm just going to add that right to the bottom. And so there is my little memo pad for my sister-in-law, so I hope you guys like that. Here are a couple others that I have that I made a number of years ago just as random samples. These ones are more Christmas-themed, but I thought, here's what I was talking about, you can get these pads in different colors. But I thought it would be cute to give her one that's not Christmas-themed because it's a gift, so I don't necessarily want her, you know, after Christmas is over, you don't want Christmas themed stuff anymore. So I thought this was super cute. And I wanted to show you guys the frogs because they are super cute. Okay, let me put some of this stuff away. Okay, I need to keep that. I probably don't need that ruler, but I might need it. Ooh, did you guys hear that? I just dropped something. I don't even know what it was. Scissors, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to end up needing it, and then I'll have to get on the floor and find it. So, okay. So, moving on to our next project. Oh, while I have this next to me, here's that paper I was telling you about. The foil sheets. Look at this. This is, like, so pretty. I mean, I just look at this, and I'm just like, whoa. And my lights are kind of probably glaring off a bit. But wait till you see this other piece. This is the Grapefruit Grove, you guys. Are you ready? This is like 1970s psychedelic. Whoa. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Yeah, I know. So, I thought I'd throw that out there. All right, so our next project. Got my pieces and parts here. I'm going to move that out of the way so I don't forget to wrap that. So I have a piece of balmy blue that's eight and a half by three and one quarter. Another piece that's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Piece of Knight of Navy that's three and a quarter by four. Oh no, this is two and three quarters by three. Okay, I'm going to get them all out and then I'm going to say them all because obviously I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, the large piece is eight and a quarter. Let's start over. Good Lord. See, I screwed up that not taking the dimensional tops off. And so now I don't know. Barb, what is the name of the retired stamp of Santa? You just should. Uh, I have no idea, Mary Ellen. I'm sorry. It's been many years. Okay. This piece of balmy blue is eight and a half by three and a quarter. I have scored it at two and one eighth and four and a quarter. So it will fold forward and then fold backwards, creating a Z. Okay. Hello, Lynn. How are you? And then we have the three and a quarter by four and a quarter, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then this is a piece of one of our new Patterns of Designer series paper, the Needlepoint Nook. And this is two and a half by three and a half. And that's going to go like that. And then I have a seven eighths by two and a half little strip that's going to go like so. And we're going to make a little kind of post-it note holder. So... This is something else that's new. This is the Butterfly Gala, Gala, however you want to say it. And it has a matching punch. So that is super exciting. So here's our matching punch. And so we are going to use a few post-it notes here. Let me just pull some off. This is a little pad that I got from uh, one of my customers a number of years ago, and it's just white. And I think she actually had to go online to find white. Um, so white is a very good color because it goes with everything. All right, so we are going to stamp this butterfly on some Whisper White cardstock. Here is some Whisper White cardstock right here. And I need a foam pad. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to do it in the Night of Navy. Just going to tap, 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 ink that up. And we're just going to stamp it right down here at the bottom. Okay. That is done. And now I need my balmy blue from the other project that we did. Where is it? Here we go. 
Okay, so this stamp set's pretty cool in that you have the dual butterflies, okay, so that you can punch out and you'll get both of them. If you don't want the small one, then you can just put it away for another project some other time. But also on in this stamp set, you have the filler pieces. So you have the filler pieces for the butterflies, okay? So you've got the top wings, the bottom wings, uh, the one for the small butterfly, and top and bottom wings for the butterflies too. So we're going to do this in some balmy blue. So I'm going to first do the top, and I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp it off two times, okay? Because it's going to be a little bit dark. Well, maybe, no, I actually stamp it off once and I'm just going to rub my finger like that to get off some more ink. And then I am just going to stamp that so you can see that there's a little bit lighter there in the center where I actually rubbed it off with my finger. Okay, let me bring my chamois in here so I can get the ink off that section. And then I'm going to ink up the bottom section same color, balmy blue. We're going to stamp it off one time. And then I'm going to kind of wipe off down by the bottom wings there. Just using my finger. Okay. And then we have some kind of, you know, ombre looking effect going on there. And then I'm going to slide my punch in. You can see how amazing that's going to be. It's just going to punch it right out this ugly thing out of my way and there is our butterfly now it does punch it out leaving room for the body because it does come with bodies for both butterflies okay but for this particular project I don't want the body at least not um, yeah I don't want the body so I'm just gonna cut up and just kind of trim those little pieces off with my snips super easy to do takes just a couple seconds and it's done okay so then I have a stitched oval from our Stitched uh, Shapes Framelits. This is the second smallest one. And I'm just going to add my butterfly here, about like so. And I have the antenna. So you get a large antenna and a small antenna also for the butterflies. Thank you so much for sharing, Terry. I appreciate that. And do I want black or do I want blue? Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think we're going to go, well, you know what? I cheated. I already have it on the other side. I did do it in, is that black? I think that's navy. Anyway, because I wasn't sure if I was going to get it on camera. Sometimes when I try to do things on camera, I screw it up. So I thought, well, I'll do it on camera on this side. And if it screws up, then I already have it done on the other side and it'll be good. Okay. So I lay my butterfly kind of where I want it to go. And then I can stamp my antenna. And I'll just move that up slightly, and then there it is. So that's going to go there. I close up my ink pads before I stick my fingers in all of them, because that's what I do. Put my stamp out of the way as well. Okay, so now we've got our Z-fold here. Whoops, we've got our Z-fold. Then this panel is going to get glued onto this. So we're just going to add glue to this panel here. And so... These should line up together, okay? So these two pieces should be the same, all right? Then we have this layer, so we're just gonna go ahead, add some glue, and layer this one on. Hmm, my eyeballs are not working all of a sudden. Can't tell if that's straight, I'm thinking it's not. So bear with me while I reposition that. That's what I like about liquid glue. Um, I can reposition my uh, papers when I am not exactly sure if they're straight or centered. And then this cute paper, I just think this is so cute, this little butterfly. And it's actual, what these papers are is, so somebody actually did some needle point um, in real life, and then they took pictures of it, and then they turned it into designer series paper. So you can actually see the threads, and maybe not on Facebook Live because the quality is not so great, but you can actually see the threads uh, that made that entire pattern. So that's pretty cool. Kudos to whoever um, did that needlepoint. I'm not so good with the fabric items and sewing. Okay, we got that little thing on there. Then I need some dimensionals. Add a couple dimensionals here. Okay. Then this is going to go like that. 
And then our butterfly is going to go over the top. I'm going to add a couple. Yeah, regular dimensionals should work for this. Oops. They don't want to come off the sheet. And I don't think I'm going to do them on the bottom. I think this is good. Okay. And then we're going to do this. And stay tuned here after I'm done with this because I have two other ones that I made also. Then I'm just going to take my notes, my post-it notes, and I'm just going to set them right here. And so I can gift this to somebody like this. Then they can open it up and set it on their desk. And the post-it notes kind of act as a bumper. So this can stay open so they can see the beautiful handiwork and still have the post-it notes on their desk, okay? So that is another cute project that someone's going to win. And then I did make a couple more. So here's one that I did kind of a Valentine-themed one where we used that lovely foil sheet paper there. I haven't actually stuck my post-it notes in there. I do need to do that. This is one of our new heart sets. Super cute. And then this one I did using these fun bright colors. This is from the, mm, I can't even remember what it's called. It's kind of like a candy cupcake set and the paper. So I just fussy cut this out of the paper and then added it on. This is another pattern of the paper. Wrapped some of that fun, gorgeous, grape striped ribbon around there. Added a glimmer dot. And again, I'll put my post-it notes in there. So now I have a few gifts uh, to give away to some people. Like my hairdresser. And I like to give gifts to like, you know, sometimes I have my favorite clerk at the grocery store. I have a couple gals that have been previous customers of mine. And I like to treat them to some little fun thing. Nothing super expensive because, you know, I can't afford to gift everybody with, you know, a $20 item. But I can certainly make a few little things like this and hand these out to people. So I hope they enjoy Enjoy them. So that's what I have for you guys today. Remember, place your orders at shoppingwithbarb.com and use this host code uh, through the end of December. I'll be back live on January 3rd. And on that date, I am giving away. Where's my stamp set, you guys? Um, I'm giving away the stamp set. Here it is. Called the Peaceful Reflection. I've already got a sticky note on there for to write someone's name. So all the people that order from me between now and uh, when I go live again, I'll put your names in a drawing and then I'll draw for this stamp set here. Um, in December, anybody who orders from me gets free glimmer dots if the order's over 40 bucks. So here's your free little glimmer dots. And yeah. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful Christmas, a super happy new year. If you're traveling, please be safe and I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. So thank you so much and we'll see you later.